Once upon a time, there emerged a digital currency called Bitcoin. The cryptocurrency will go on to become all the rage in a few years, but Bitcoin is not where it all started. We have to go way back to the 80s to tell the full cryptocurrency story. So sit back as we flip through the history pages of one of the most popular technologies in the past decade. The year is 1983. David Chalm, a cryptographer, proposes a form of electronic cash. During this time, no cryptocurrencies existed. In fact, the term was not even coined until the late 80s. David's concept was for a currency that could be sent untraceable and in a manner that did not require centralized entities. Almost 10 years, 1995, after his proposal, David founded DigiCash to put his concept into practice, creating the first cryptographic electronic money called eCash. In 1998, however, David's company eventually filed for bankruptcy. Nevertheless, the concepts put forward by DigiCash played an important role in developing later digital currencies. There were other cryptocurrencies developed in the 90s, such as eGold, HashCash, B-Money, which was mentioned in Bitcoin's white paper almost a decade later, and BitGold, a concept developed by Nick Sabo in 1998. Nick Sabo's concept used blockchain techniques such as a peer-to-peer -peer network, mining, a ledger, and cryptography. Sounds familiar? While Nick's BitGold project was never implemented, he is often credited with creating the concepts that eventually led to the creation of Bitcoin. People even speculate about Nick Sabo's being the anonymous Bitcoin creator, Satoshi Nakamoto, although Sabo has denied this claim. Speaking of Satoshi Nakamoto, let's fast forward to 2008 when the mysterious founder entered the scene. On August 18, 2008, the domain name Bitcoin.org was registered and in October, someone going by the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto sent an academic paper to a cryptography mailing list proposing a form of digital cash called Bitcoin. Satoshi, whose identity remains unknown, proposed a cash system that's fully peer-to-peer, -peer, no third party needed. Come January 3rd, 2009, Satoshi mined the first block of the Bitcoin network, now referred to as the Genesis block. The block includes a quote referencing a The Times article from January 3rd, 2009, the day the block was mined. The timestamp serves to prove when the block was mined and makes a permanent reference to the economic conditions during that period when distress of banks and central governments was at a peak. January 3rd is also regarded as Bitcoin's birthday, though it wasn't until nearly a week later that Nakamoto released the software to the public. A year later, in 2010, Bitcoin became available to buy, sell, and trade on online exchanges for the first time. The first reported real-world financial transaction involving Bitcoin also took place that year when a Florida-based man negotiated to pay 10,000 Bitcoin for pizza. That's right, two Papa John's pizzas to be exact. To this day, the Bitcoin community celebrates Pizza Day on May 22nd. It wasn't until April 2011 that the price of Bitcoin crossed the $1 mark. Afterward, within just three months, the digital asset skyrocketed 2,000% in value and was trading at around $29. Now, volatility was just as rampant then as it is now because five months later, Bitcoin's bottomed out at about $2 in November. In other news, Litecoin, one of many Bitcoin forks, made its appearance that year and soon became the second biggest cryptocurrency by market cap. As time progressed, Bitcoin's price continued to rise and so did its popularity and also its volatility. By November 2013, Bitcoin hit $1,000. However, prices started steadily falling shortly after, but this would later seem to be the least of Bitcoin's problems. Early 2014, the Mt. Gox hack happened. See, 
Mt. Gox was more than just a big player in the cryptocurrency world. At its peak in 2013, the exchange handled a whopping 70% of all of Bitcoin transactions worldwide. And in the next year, it took a devastating hit in one of the largest Bitcoin hacks to date. The company reported having lost hundreds of thousands of Bitcoins and shortly filed for bankruptcy. Around this period, the number of altcoins was growing, but none came as close to stealing Bitcoin's thunder as Ethereum when it came into the scene. In 2015, a group of programmers, including Vitalik Buterin, launched Ethereum, a project that introduced the idea of smart contracts and decentralized applications. Ethereum's arrival was marked by the emergence of initial coin offerings, platforms that help raise money for an upcoming project by giving investors early access. While ICOs held projects launch and quickly gain momentum, some ended up being scams. That said, Ethereum's smart contract model was widely copied by other new blockchains like Cardano, Tezos, and NEO, to name a few, which launched during this period. In the second half of 2016, the Ethereum network hard forked into two blockchains, Ethereum and Ethereum Classic, to erase a hack from Ethereum's blockchain and return stolen money to its original owners. Watch this video to find out more about the ETH and ETC split. Meanwhile, Bitcoin's price soared in 2017 and even surpassed the $10,000 mark. A year later, Bitcoin would lose more than half its value, but would go on to make its comeback in 2020, despite the economic shutdown due to the pandemic. Another sector that popped off that year was DeFi, boasting a TVL of over 11 billion before the end of the year, a phenomenon which is now known as DeFi summer. Come 2021, Bitcoin and many cryptocurrencies hit their all-time highs last year. The digital asset went on an impressive bull run since the start of the year before hitting an all-time high of $69,000 towards the end of the year. 2021 was also the first year NFTs broke through into the mainstream, despite being around since 2014. However, the sun set in crypto paradise as the prices started plummeting in 2022 before the headline-grabbing Luna and May market crash. During this period, for the first time in over two years, Bitcoin's price fell below the $20,000 mark. But Despite the bear market, 2022 has been an eventful and exciting year for some crypto fans. One of the most anticipated events in the cryptoverse, the Ethereum merge, took place in mid-September, which saw Ethereum transitioning from proof of work to proof of stake. Cardano, Ethereum's rival, also had a much anticipated upgrade known as the Vessel Hard Fork, which seeks to enhance the platform's transaction throughput speeds, dApp development capacity, and security. It's impressive to see the work started by figures such as David Chaum as early as the 80s snowball into this huge and constantly evolving industry we now know. Now, like we always say, we're all early and we can expect more revolutionary innovations in the future. So, how did you discover crypto? What notable events did we miss out on? Let us know in the comments below. Also, of course, remember to like, subscribe, and follow us on all our socials for Future Alpha. See ya!